No, not in the first two. You can okay. maybe get it later. There's these. There's Night Stalker. It's expected. We have uh, a draft. LGD is first pick. So Wisp. I, Wisp might go, but if I'm VGJ, I leave it. They ban it first. That's fine. And that's why they're here. Well, the thing is, it's a choice okay. because you're either banning it or you're giving it away to first yeah. pick. Yeah. I just think that I'd rather play against LGD's Wisp right now than all the than other the stuff. unknown. I think Wisp is one of the easier heroes to game plan, and VGJ know it very well. Yeah. But that's like maybe you try that later. I agree that if in the first game you just get rid of it. Consider leaving it in like a game three after a bit of the the series meta has developed. Yeah. And you have a you you realize okay we don't really want to play against this unknown hero oh, and you know all of a sudden they last pick an FY bounty or an X Nova bounty and you're screwed yeah. or the Chen. It's like you might Luna. Ooh. Really? Okay. Interesting. I don't mind it. I think that VGJ and Paparazzi on uh, Vici won some free games with Luna and they did just play against Vici's and they might have felt like hey this game was really hard even though Paparazzi fed a few times. Yeah. And is this really something we want to give this this Team of nobodies. This, these upstart, no, <laughs> this upstart squad. Resolution. They're not on our level. Nobody. Yeah, I, I feel like Luna's a hero that leaves you with very little room for error against it. Like if you just, if you just slip up one team fight, or even just like such that the laning stage go the way that you wouldn't expect, and the Luna has a lot of space to farm, she's gonna punish you quite easily for that. And so maybe they think that you know they just don't want to put themselves in that situation. Mm -hmm. I like the pale ban. I think that Ame just plays it too well. I think not only does he play it well, but LGD drafts and uh, the entire team plays around it incredibly well. So last time that these two teams met again in the uh, group stage, like you were talking about, they did ban out the PL as well. Um, and that time it was Vici J Storm. The last ban that they also did uh, was the Morphling and Io. So we might see a Morphling ban here if they want to take that out. Chen was also taken out yeah. previously. They leave the Tusk. Perhaps, okay, that's the thing. Is first pick, I wouldn't be surprised if LGD looked to first pick Tusk. And then you effectively ban the two others and pick pick the last of MSS's really powerful ones. Um, I agree with the PL ban. I like that too. What about Death Prophet though? Uh, that's like a scary hero. I don't. I don't see. I don't think LG would first pick it in, into in this game. I think that that's like the easiest hero to game plan for as an overall first pick. But VGJ loves it themselves too. Mm -hmm. So the other one that we've seen before, you talk about vision and ways to maybe deal with the Death Prophet as well. Beastmaster has been another staple for Snake King throughout the time. But they're going to take out the Lycan yeah. now. That increases the strength of DP with first PL pick. and Lycan banned. Radiant team pick. Yeah. Yep. It's just too juicy, I think, once you get rid of, like, there's so many counters removed. What about, like, an AA here? Like, an AA Tusk, AA Sankey? I mean, I, I want to see something quick, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. dude, like, you LG just, just first pick Death Prophet. Like, let's go, SVG. Come on, bro. I know he, I know he preps incredibly well, especially for a, a series of this magnitude. So I'm sure they're probably just discussing some minor details. Ten but, I mean, MSS eight. is like, yo, what's up with my microphone? <laughs> so, like, take as much time as you need. Five. Seconds. Yeah, they got some extra reserve time there. Yeah, you, you have to know that this one is coming out mm -hmm. and we'll have game plan for it. So I'm thinking like either that AA or some other like single target uh, blows somebody up right at the start. But I think Gyro. Gyro. I'm not I don't know how I feel about that. Gyro Tusk. I mean, Gyro. I'm fine with it, but at the same time, I mean, it, this, it just comes down to, like, who's prep better, right? I, I would be very shocked and a little disappointed if I saw LGD's fourth pick be something completely ordinary. Because, um, and it's same with VGJ, in truth, because they, they're essentially just both sticking to what got them here, which, you know, a lot of teams do utilize as their game one. Like, hey, let's just, let's just play our draft and see if we're just better than they are. It's a best of five. If you mm -hmm. win that first game just playing what you got to play, then they have to react make changes yeah. afterwards. And if you like try to mix it up and then you like lose the f momentum in the series, suddenly yeah. you like LGD. wonder like could we have actually won this series if we played the game we wanted to play? So with this Anaga immediate pick, I like to always prioritize some sort of follow up on the side of LGD, and they've made sure they do a good job of that in almost every game they do pick it. I like heroes that come to mind are such are like the Jakiro, the Warlock, <laughs> these type of heroes that once you actually have the position disruptor, obviously, um, once you have the position on the enemy team. Uh, like that they've been slept, you have to have some way of actually punishing the fact that you know exactly where they are. And I think Disruptor has to get banned, especially with Tusk. Uh, on the other, like, Disruptor considered pretty good against Tusk. Yeah. yeah if you're VGJ, though, you can always just take it third as well. Uh, I was going to bring up that here on the pre-draft. Like, I think that reach is going to be huge in this sort of game when you have teams that play, like, this solid, this aggressive 
Disruptor kind of gives you natural map control because you always have to back like that 5-10 seconds earlier than you might want to just because the threat of him being off map is so high. I like the ban from LGD. You get rid of the Medusa as expected. They ban out the Morphling the moment they take Gyrocopter. You just cannot give that away to Ame, especially when they're first pick. I think Medusa and Luna are the two best cores and also the only ones Rezzer's really played with the Awar Gyro with this tournament. And I think those are must bans as well. Make VGJ come up with something else. So with the Gyrocopter, is it still possible to run a flex pick and run it mid against the Death Prophet? How does that matchup work out? Um, I think it's DP favored, but you can trade. And there's a lot of kill potential with the Tusk. But at the same time, DP is like that quintessential mid laner because you all, if you have drains up, it's very difficult for you to go 100 to 0. I just feel like what VGJ does is after the draft plays out, they just pick Rezo's hero last and they just say, yeah. you know, whatever lane is best for you. We're going to mm. put Yawar in the other lane. And Yawar has yeah. been really good at just kind of making do. He hasn't like always won his lane. He usually is un under a lot of pressure or kind of thrown into a somewhat unfavorable 1v1. But he still yeah. makes plays afterwards. And that's just the way VGJ functions. Yep. And and uh, I think nearly 100% <laughs> SVG is going to disrupt her here. It's like Disruptor or Jakiro, but I think Disruptor is just better, especially in an opening Five game. And three. just to note, in the previous, the last time they opened, Tusk Gyro was against OG, and they followed it up with Disruptor Doom Medusa. And you can see the two bands yep. coming off of OG Medusa. Doom Medusa. So this is like a standard philosophy where you just make people Radiant beat you with something different. I right? like the Slark band too. Yeah. It's like it's Slark Morphling. It, yeah. But you, like, you literally said yeah. you can't pick Gyro because of Slark Morphling. Yeah, and that's and they exactly ban it. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you know what you're doing. I do wonder Sometimes. later in the series if this same type of thing comes around again, if maybe you get one of those heroes first round phased. Again, thinking about the macro implications of this whole series, if something changes and then they come back and win this one again, if LGD would want to take those later. I don't think Slark's a hero you force first no. round, but I think Morphling's kind of proved that like if you have a draft centered around it, it doesn't have to be a perfect Morphling game. That hero can still do its thing if you have like a specific idea of why you picked it. Ooh. So they immediately go for the Coddle. That's new. I like that. I think that hero is like low key, really strong. That yeah. was my pick for hero that's OP and not picked right now. And I've seen them utilize this hero with great success a couple of times. In the last time these two met, that was the first phase ban that LGD did uh, to try and take it away from them. And with Nightstalk already Ten taken out, the hardest three. counter in the game is also going to be removed from it. I feel like Lifestealer goes up a lot in value, though, Five for LGD here. Remaining. And I'm just saying not that it has to be picked, but if VGJ's next pick doesn't account for that, it could be a very scary fourth pick, Lifestealer, against the Gyro Coddle. And I feel like LGD, they still could take the Disruptor, but you need some way to get on top of this Coddle. Do you think it's still good against the Tusk, even? Like, Tusk, I feel like, has proven to really mess up Lifestealer sometimes. It's... Something that it's, in my opinion, is only good against Lifestealer if you have some other way of also being good against Lifestealer. Like, okay, gotcha. Like if you have some follow-up to, to the you Tusk. You need to punish him in lane as yeah. well. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Lifestealer yeah. with Armlet, like, yeah, you can just strike. You're kind of just buying time. You never really threaten him. Okay. Radiant team pick. So they go for the Jakiro follow-up. The two options are Jakiro and Disruptor, I mm -hmm. think, being the best. And they... Why, why, do you, why would you favor Jakiro over Disruptor? I don't feel like they have, like, a ton of reach or anything like that yet for this Coddle. Uh, it kinda, I think we have to see the next pick to okay. really to grasp it, but it does seem that China seems to, they just favor Jakiro a lot right now. It's a stronger hero in the lane as well, yeah, especially is. against a Tusk. You have to assume that VGJ is going to be dual laning wherever it is that they end up playing with this Coddle, and there's going to be a Tusk in the area. Disruptor might just end up feeding. You don't offer any damage in the lane for the most part. You don't have much utility until the mid game hits. So with this Coddle, he needs a lane eventually, um, as early as possible when you have it. You want to get that Ags up to hit that timing around the 16-minute daytime, I think it is. And that means that Snake, I mean, a lot of Snake King's active heroes, the Night Stalker, even the Clockwork Doom, these type of heroes that they sometimes put on him. You could Beastmaster here? Could, you could LC as well. I like Beastmaster, and I like eh, LC, yeah. It's a rough Beastmaster game. It's a Jakiro Naga supports. Those heroes just... Kind of kill you. The what about Underlord? Game? Even though it doesn't really fit that nah, description. Nah, no Underlord. Enigma. Oh, there it's back. The classic. Ooh, I I don't mind it. This was your pick for hero that yeah. might be low key OP, and that's I will say part of the reason I've been thinking VGJ is winning a lot of their games is their drafting has been on point and they're utilizing a lot of very strong heroes that don't really see much play. Um, even like they brought back the Coddle Beastmaster for a game. They ran Enigma before. Um, they play Coddle. They played Fury in support. Like they, they do a lot of things that other people just don't seem to be willing to do for some reason right now. 
So life stealer definitely goes down in value now. So what's the pick in the safe lane? A lot of the ones that I I t pretend to like myself against it, such as like the PL, are banned out. Uh, you know what would be great? I mean, I don't know if they play it, but if this were this is actually a pretty nice clinks game. If anyone actually wow. believes in that hero. It, yeah, if that hero still existed. I really like You want a ranged carry against Enigma. And that's another thing, I, the reason I like it, is it shuts down Lifestealer. And you really don't want to pick Jug and do it either. But specifically yeah. Lifestealer, you do not want to play into Enigma. Yeah, can, absolutely. Can You can strafe the homing missile as well, right? Yeah. That's for the projectile. I don't know how that matchup works out. I also like try and Void a lot them. for LGD. Void, Void isn't bad. I, I don't mind it either, but there's a lot of peel on VGJ, and they do have answers to your hero for most of the game. Wow. Okay. I like that pick a That's lot. A, yeah, me too. Nyx, Nyx is... is and mm -hmm. You just walk into the blast, you walk into the Midnight Pulse, probably a Max Carapace game. Yeah, yeah. Um, two the zero four maybe. Yeah, you, you, get, you get the flak. Like, it, whenever you're playing against three heroes that just by using their abilities, they're going to get caught by your carapace. Like, it's a great Nyx game. Um, the only thing you got to be concerned about is the BKB timings. Because right now, VGJ, they get a BKB Enigma Gyro. All of a sudden, they have complete dominance in any team fight. So what's a... Uh, is this a four Nyx or a three, you think? I think it's a three. Okay. You, just because you, of you the impact the of carapace? It, it could even be a maybe Nyx. Sorry, not a maybe Nyx. Oh, He's no. playing Death Prophet. There's he the Void Ban. He got denied. I did something there. There's the Void Ban. Poor guy. Was that a kiss cam? It was two kiss cams in a row, and then the third girl covered her mouth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of ways to say no. Yeah. Trust me, I've seen them all. Well. Uh... <laughs> 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 Moving on, we do have. Uh, I, I feel like LGD might run into some damage problems here. You know, you you don't have a whole heck of a lot outside of like DP ulti. Yeah, I really, I really would have liked the void pick actually, but I think Nyx was actually much better, just because it counters the coddle. Uh, maybe something cute like Avenge could be cool. Nah, you need wave clear. Oh, okay, that's a way to get on top of the coddle. That is an excellent pick. Because you you kill Coddle so easily. Like, what would we say? you got to find the Coddle to kill him, right? Spectre does just that. You're immediately on top of him. Actually quite good against Gyro as well. And Enigma. It's just a bit slower. But if LGD can stall out the game and get Ame to, like, that 30-minute mark in an even matchup, like, they're just going to win. And VGJ will only be able to fight in the duration of their BKBs. And now if you're VGJ, this is, like, a must-pick, I think, I think it's got to be Life Stealer. Life Stealer or Jug. You need yeah. sustain. Or Visage. Visage. Oh, this is so cool, though. Wow. Like, with Coddle getting an Aghanims up early, push with the Visage. This wow. could be scary. It's a great the Visage crushes Nyx, DP, Jakiro. I don't know how much I like him against Spectre. I will tell you I've never seen it. Yeah. This is this is new, but this is a hell of a game on draft, and I appreciate both teams, even though they go with their more standard Openings. the standard rhetoric for the opener. You have a lot of uh, of curveball thrown at the end. There. Yeah, I mean, I think this is like one team mixing it up with their like VGJ first mixing up with the Enigma, even though we already saw it, or the, and even the Coddle pick, and then they respond with the Nyx, which is a, a great reactionary pick to what they see, and then suddenly you see the Spectre as a response to the Coddle too, and they're like, okay, they've responded to what we're doing. We're gonna mix it up a bit with this Rezo Hero last pick. Is it going to be a mid visage? You think? Uh, it depends on the matchup, I guess. I think it's pretty good. Nyx would DP. probably be an easier matchup for the for the visage. Well, you know, thinking about it, actually, no, it's I, mid. Spectre kind of owns visage in some ways. Or, sorry, visage might own Spectre because you don't ever really want to. You're never getting a Manta or a BKB, right? Yeah. And he's just going to grave chill you. Yeah. And Spectre utilizes move speed and hiding in the trees, right? And, and Desolate's never hitting you. Yeah. Yep. Like exactly, because you have birds on top of you yeah. at all times. So theory, like you, you kind of actually just crush the hero. It's also not the highest armor, even though it's an agility hero. You're not, you know, just walking around with 20 armor by 15 minutes. So right. he gets medallion. There's an, a wolf H or D creep. Like you actually just kind of die in a builds grave pipe naturally as well on yeah. the side of the visage. Yep, so exactly. Like, it also gives them this like team fight hero solar crest pipe yep. hel and helm dom. You now have three naturally tanky cores. SVG once again on this just backline bot, this time with the Ags timing that makes this hero unstoppable. And then you have MSS Tusk running around the map making moves. I actually so don't see how LGD kills anyone. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm thinking too. All of a sudden you look at their draft, you're like, wait, where's their damage? Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's okay. like, it's so I'm sticking tough. with VGJ for this game. Yeah. It, it depends. If they the get late pick. enough, if they, if they ever get to a point where they have damage, yeah. they should win the game. Easily. Right. The thing is, 
you're How do you playing, get to that point? Do you really get to a point where you're better than a Connell Ag's timing? I feel like we've seen this game already, and it ended with VGJ just taking a super extended fight, and they win yeah. the game. It's going to be live through the song combo, don't get screwed by Haunt and Nyx pickoffs on your Gyro, Visage, Enigma, etc., and don't let maybe DP just like make three moves and take all your tier ones. I feel like Visage is a hero. I mean, he always is, in, in my experience, that he either dies easily, almost immediately, or he just never dies. Yeah. Right. And this mid matchup is going to be critical as well. It's a Visage versus a Death Prophet. Arguably the two premier players for both sides. Maybe DP, Resolus, and Visage. And I think I Visage's know. primary weakness is dealing with split push because he can't TP to places because his birds aren't there as well as his Helm of the Dominator creep. And mm -hmm. they have none of that on the side of LGD. So I think that's even maybe what makes it an even better Visage game. But they do put it mid against the DP. Should be a little bit of a rough start for the Visage. He pretty much one of the weakest laners in the game until he hits level 6. But once he gets there, should have no issues. Oh. Getting into the laning stage now for game number one of the grand finals. And up top, you can see FY already taking some harassment while they try and clear through these Eidolons. And that's the other part about this, just denying out creeps naturally by mm. virtue of snaking. Yeah, and I love playing Enigma in the offlane when you have something like a Tusk. Tusk, ET, Earth Spirit, something that can rotate out of your lane when you're not necessary because there's going to be creeps under tower at all times. But you also are very strong at securing counter kills and protecting this Enigma. Because if the lane's already under your tower, or always yeah. underneath your tower, your only fear is diving yeah. or getting dove. And and they and he just stops pulls as well, because that's the main way you would actually recover this lane. You can see him; he's just gonna probably shards this Naga, prevent the pull, and uh, he does exactly that. There it's just it's see. perfect. You just you just secure Snaking's lane. You're gonna get level two, and then you can look to rotate wherever you want. And you're gonna win the lane because you're oh, yeah. getting a free range creep deny every every way. Lane some extra damage there onto Resolution. He's going to salve up again. There's a lot of creep waves coming through. And top lane as well. Obviously, you're able to dagger through the shards. But another creep wave coming in, and that's happy times for EGJ Storm. Rezo's actually winning the mid lane right now. Yep. Grave chill. Typically not. I, I don't know. I've heard multiple things from different players. Personally, I think it's mostly even. And if anyone should be favored, it's the Death Prophet until Visage level Once 6. Once he's 6, though, her lane's yeah. over. Yeah. You just have no method of like pushing Elena's visage, but if you utilize this grave chill as well as he is, like you he's just outlasting. He's based also on his doing speed. the Bassy trick as well, where he's mm -hmm. turning it on and off to try and mess with her last hitting. I don't know if I agree with this HOD hard rush. I, I feel like there's no reason not to get like a null or an Aquila, just so you keep up in damage with the DP who's always gonna be buying a double null. So now you're at a point, you're 63 damage on Rezo, so that's not gonna increase. And you're gonna about you're about to have like 76, 77 on the Death Prophet. 10 damage is pretty significant. These early game last hit wars. Uh, bottom lane, going to be relatively even, but Coddle never really threatens a Nyx, because at any point he just carapaces the blast like he did just there. Yeah. Although they are going to be able to get an uh, extra Kira rocket barrage. Yeah. He's he almost got that clicks. last Oh, wait. Oh, One more hit. Dodge away. X Nova almost goes down, but lives through it. Almost got that last flak off earlier on. That would have been enough. While up top again, they're doing a good job of clearing through all of these Eidolons as well, since it's just level two right now. But as those get higher and higher levels, it's going to mm -hmm. be more difficult. And, and that's a good point. Like the Enigma will slow the Spectre down, but if you feed Eidolons to him, like you don't really mind anymore. And this hero, I don't even know. I feel like it's more of a gold dependent carry, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yes, I agree. You, I you don't really mind losing out on XP. Not You're not, not looking to haunt rotate until you have a certain amount of base items. So. Yeah, exactly, and it, it, the one item usually is what spurs, like, speeds up her farm drastically compared to other carries, because yeah. a lot of carries have, like, innate farming tools, while Spectre does not, so yeah. having that, like, initial burst of, like, even, like, phase boots or, like, go Helm of the Dominator, stuff like that, it just it drastically changes Spectre's game. Your talents aren't that impressive either, specifically yeah. level 10. 15 desolate damage or 5 health regen, they're, they're nice, but they're not, uh, like, these game-breaking... Late game is pretty nuts. No the acceleration, though. Is, the no uh, acceleration on her talents is quite yeah, different. Yeah. Like that, I think that's a lot of reasons why we see Spectre being so much more situational. It, exactly, and cool. it's it's always because you don't have a talent that just covers your innate weakness, which yeah. is lack of damage. Yeah. You have to you have to get the items to do so, but you don't actually have the tools because you said there's no flash farming. MSS missed the shards there on the Somnus in the mid lane, but I don't know if they would have been able mm -hmm. to kill anyways. But one level up right now, resolution. Uh, he's a little bit behind this DP, mm -hmm. which could become a problem. And, and what's interesting too is like I feel like VGJ. I love the way they drafted, and so far it feels like uh, there's no nerves in their players. And part of that could just be you know obviously they're out of the running for a, an invite to TI, so they're playing with no pressure. Right. They might you know they it's could a little win. bit of money on the line. Yeah, but 
th at the end of the day, I don't think many Dota players, as absurd Thinking as the, the money, money is in the pool, like, it's all about TI. So, do you want to win, but at the same time, oh, MSS trying to make a play, vision. might get the deny off. He's going to. What a player, man. MSS sharding for vision, gets the deny on the goblins. Gives himself a pat on the back as well. That's important. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the morale. Nobody else told him, so he's got to tell himself. Top lane by the bounty rune. And they're able to take that one away, snaking from FY. Yep. But FY will take a couple creeps for his oh. trouble. Also, no, no. They're rushing t double HOD on Visage and Enigma. I, I actually don't know if LGD can ever take them in a team fight before they have, like, multiple items on their course. Yeah. Like, there, there's no damage. And if yeah. VGJ can just sustain, I, I think they'll hit a timing where they can just walk down a lane. And it's going to be up to LGD to just avoid fights, get a ton of pickoffs with Haunt Nyx, mirror properly with DP rotations, and keep the game even until at least like 20 minutes. Yeah, and DP's pulled quite far ahead in this mid lane. They might see some move made before Visage hits six. Bottom lane, they found themselves FY Chalice. They're trying to see if they can take down MSS. Snowball forward, seeing if he can finish him off but with the flak. They will draw first blood. Now Chalice Impale is going to connect on to two. X Nova also taking some extra damage. You are able to hit him down, take him out, and with the stick charges live. Surprised he doesn't have a second point in Carapace at level four on the Knicks. I feel like it's like two value against these heroes, as we mentioned in the draft. But, but he put three points in stun? Yeah, that's really odd to me as well. I feel like you picked the Knicks for the Carapace. Yeah, I would agree. I think that that, might come, that decision might come back to haunt him. I think you want max Carapace by like level eight in this game. It's just so powerful. So we do need to watch for the timings of the Helmodometer too, because if you manage to get that out on Visage and Enigma before that 10 minute mark, get the double catapults could be absolutely game-breaking for the amount of damage dealt I to towers. I think have to make a move on Rezo, if, like, now or never, because you're not going to get him when he has six. Bottom lane again. Chalice taking some more damage. MSS is there, and with that only one point in Carapace, he's going to end up going down again. Probably would have died anyways. And it looks like FY might be looking to dive mid with the Somnus ultimate. Rezo is almost six, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. Capitalize on this brief window, but he oh. gets the six. Turn it back around. They have the snowball save. Pull him inside. Oh, no. It didn't quite happen in time, but they can still find a return kill onto maybe. Oh, he nice. lost a bird, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's really unfortunate. Man, that snowball was just a little too slow. I think if, if, if MSS just cast that a bit earlier, he waited to get into range of the Visage. If he just casts it right away and trusts Rezzo to run back into it, I mean, a little, a little bit of a miscue, but MSS Tusk, been a part of every kill thus far, already level 5. And we've seen him carry how many games with this hero? Quite a few. Yeah, a couple. And this gives the lane bottom, bottom to SVG, SVG, but he just took just a lot of blast damage. And he's hot in. He lost like most of his health to the Carapace. Guar is here as well, and they're going to try and run down him, but yeah, bad dagger. got to get the hell out of here. If he gets the dagger on Gyro, they might be able to land that kill. But yeah, that's well. Spectre level 6, while the Gyro's only level 4, so yeah. that's something very important to note. Yeah. Big play, because if you look top, Snaking had just established control, and now he's going to be pushing the lane, but he's not pressuring yet, and he doesn't have that Helm of the Dominator, so is it's a good time like to rotate. The or something like that top. I think they should not put Spectre there. Maybe even the Naga for long. Yeah, he'll, he'll TP back. Okay. Uh, okay. You just have to support the lane. Because this, this tower is in incredibly important to keep alive, and I think Spectre is like the only hero that can actually stand here. Nyx does nothing. You don't want DP to be sitting in the dead lane. You want him to be looking to make yeah, moves Spectre's not a douche the shit hero at this yeah. point in the game. The, I like the Treads build from Ami. Yeah, same. Treads Aquila. Like, that's the base items on pretty much any agility hero. You can never really find a fault with them. And it feels like they need to do that because they know this impending push with Helm of the Dominators are coming. You're getting real close to it on the Enigma, and the Visage already has his just about completed as well uh, with a couple of minutes before those Siege Creeps spawn. And Somnus going to get punched a few times. The bird lands. But Top not really lane. Anything else. They're going to look to make a move here. MSS is setting up, but he's actually going to TP to the Shrine. They're looking to hunt the Jakiro right now. I don't know if I like this move. Even if you get this kill, is it worth the TP? And now rooting away. It looks like Enigma is going to be able to escape, but looking for that kill down bottom. They do find X Nova, and they're going to actually give, give it to the, to the, the gy yeah, well played, Gyro well as he's flacking. It's actually super important that the carries get kills nowadays because the uh, the AOE gold seems really ineffective. And obviously that's just a support, so it's no big deal. But later on in the game, when people start getting streaks, the kill bonus becomes like 600. You don't want yeah. that to go to a, to a tusk. Right. And the Gyro, I mean, even though you say it's only a support, he's the same level as that Jakiro, so that's honestly a pretty important kill in my opinion, even if it's not the ideal it's kill. Like 180 gold, that's like three creeps, man. 
SVG gets impaled, gets punched, gets killed. That's the strength of the Nyx Assassin. Hitting level 6 mid lane. They're also going in for this one now. Is they're going to pop the ultimate yet again? The snowball save. Is this going to be good enough, though? I don't think so. With the call down coming in, resolution is going to fall. Now, Full can stick. they find anything in turn? That's the DP living through everything. And you ward down oh. low. The ghost hits him just barely. Now, also, MSS might go down trying to block it out with the shards. But the net is there again. And a triple kill for maybe before he dies to MSS. That's right, all space for the eggs. There you Carl. go. I mean, that's... God, Death Prophet just creates such like a pressure point on her lane. Yep. Three bounty runes as well for LGD just picked up. And I love what they do, though, because they kept the Nyx bottom that whole time, right? He just sat there. He got two waves of experience. Two full waves just being pushed. So Jar was getting nothing out of that. And they crush... They go mid and connect his three. And that's what LGD loves to do. They plant at the Spectre top, Nyx bottom, collapse mid is three around DPL. Yeah, maybe dies, but they create so much pressure. And like we said, it's all about just buying time. Yep. You want to use this DPL off cooldown. That's the second one in 10 minutes. This Sometimes Visage has no birds. That time. Yeah, that's like yeah. the second time. Like last fight, he lost one bird, yeah. and this time he has no bird. And Visage is not a hero without birds. That is his hero. Yep. And now you see the double TP coming out. Um, th this is something I think VGJ might have wanted to do earlier. They have the HOD on Enigma, and you just group up and you push a tower with the tusk behind him. And I don't even know if Gyro is necessary, but he's so weak now. As he's one of those cores that is very level dependent. He's yes. just level six. Inspector's going straight Radiance. I, I I personally think this is the correct call. Yeah, I think he has the luxury. He could just take the 5 health regen at level 10, which means he can sustain while he's farming. And then you said we have damage issues. Yeah. And if you hit that Radiance, honestly, before yeah. the Ags on Coddle, that could be a huge yet, window. Maybe you lose a fight. Maybe you lose a Roche. But it means you're going to have a Radiance coming online around, what, like 18, 19 minutes? Yeah. And all of a sudden, you put a clock on DGJ. Hey, you've got to win the game because my second and third items, like I'm not buying Hood Blade Mail. Yeah. I'm going to have a Radiance and a Yasha. And all and of a sudden, I'm a way, threat. Like, suddenly, Spectre can actually farm. Yeah. I, I agree. I think it's almost always better to invest in items that allow you to accelerate. Early. Only if you have the luxury to do so, but he absolutely does this game because of how slow the Gyro's game is, and even the Visage has been really knocked down. He's trying to pressure the mid lane with his Helmdom it's, catapult, but... Especially when VGJ, they've, how slow have they been playing, right? They, yeah. they close out games with like 20k net worth. Oh. He's up top. Ame coming in on the Enigma. They want to try and take this down. They've already killed off the Helm of the Dominator Creep, and I think that's all they're trying to do right here. If Snake King dies, it's all just a little bit of extra luck, and they do manage to find him there with the net. They had the song also, so a kill there oh, while they were able to defend chalice. it also. You don't, don't take a kill Spectre. from Spectre, yeah. Come on, bro. I like that, though, because it, it look at where bottom lane is. This is Gyro taking dead creeps. In the meantime, Spectre just gets a nice little TP for free. Yeah. A free kill, Eidolons, three waves. And, S and Spectre's the hero that doesn't need to be doing anything right now, so she doesn't mean no. find, mind farming the passive part of the map. But Gyro, on the other hand, like you said, he wants to be active, so him farming the same areas as Spectre equivalently yeah. on the map is not equal at all. Yeah, this is this is not going well for VGJ. They needed to be the team in the lead, and so far they have made. It feels like they've made absolutely no moves. They've just been responding to. Uh, it's this DP. The LGD. pressure point in the mid lane, though, is the problem. Like yeah. this visage has been slowed down so much. They let the kill happen right before Rezo got his six, and it's all kind of snowballed from there. That first kill happens, then the second kill happens, and suddenly you can't make any moves because DP is putting so much pressure on mid. Visage becomes a liability. Yep. And now they're going to collapse on top lane, possibly killing Enigma again. Yeah, they're going to. They have high ground vision. There's a there's a DP behind. Like, you can't yeah. do anything. I mean, Some he does have Black Ball, but there's no way to make that happen. And mid lane, they're going to try and get a return kill onto the tower here as well. They're doing a good bit of damage, and you can sort of tank through this a little bit as the Visage. But eventually, this is going to fall. So at least something for the death of that Enigma. Yeah, I'm... I'm a bit concerned. I, I like what Maybe does as well. Just this other, this concept of you know buying items that allow you to stay on map. He almost always gets this Void Stone first, and a lot of times you'll see people get Staff of Wizardry when they're going for the Ols. But he opts for the Mana Regen almost every game because it allows him to just spam Q and always be on map, always be shot. Oh, lanes. and that is the reveal right there as well as they're trying to get it down. The blink from Chalice he was able to find the kill, but now the turnaround. Oh, the sleep. They can TP out of here if they want to once the Malphus wears off. The missile is going to connect onto Chalice, so FY gets out. But Chalice, with the Blink Dagger, able to escape. Can they chase him oh, down here? The shards. shards are going to be able to catch him. Oh Still the God, TP no away, way. though. They're not quite getting wow. him. He gets away. Mid lane as well. Rezo, a lot of trouble. He's actually just going to go down. He gets to kill on Jakiro, but man. And 
this whole time. Where's Ame? Oh, he TP'd bottom because he didn't have the TP top. He haunted there. He just He's just shoving this lane now. It's going to be like a six, 17 minute radius. Yeah. We were thinking that this was going to be Vici J Storm pushing the tempo, but LGD have just come in and shown that they can make it happen just as easily. And this TP is a huge problem consistently. Uh, they, they look like... Uh, I hate to say it. I love VGJ, but right now, LGD is just playing on another level. Well, they do find a kill here on FY, it looks like, but the TP's coming in as well. There's no haunt for five seconds, but they could try and set up while they're defending this tower. You don't need to. This tower is, like, meaningless in the grand scheme of things. Oh, Blinken, that's an HOD creep. Take it easy. Yep. It's just the little wins all the over DP the map. DP might be getting taken. caught here. This is scary. He's going to go down, I think. Completely out of position, and even though there's the Yule Scepter, they have the haunt, but you can't afford to use it right there to okay. try and take him down. Step like in that. the right direction, but will that really turn into anything of value? That DP didn't have ulti anyway. He's got it when he's alive. They have medallions, so they could think about going mm. towards Roche if they find another big pickoff. They had to do something before the Spectre Radiance. He's already almost got it. Yep. So got it. Two Helm of the Dominator catapults for them. So again, if they manage to win fights, yeah. they're going to be able to take buildings. But how do they win those fights? Man, that's uh, a good question. <laughs> Ame is just this. I, I honestly, I, if I were playing this game, I'm looking bottom right now. I see Ame farming with a relic at 15 minutes, and I'm scared. I'm really scared. They they have the ability to kill him as this game continues, but they need to force a good fight around an item timing, and that's like kind of right now because once that specter gets radiance online with no pipe, you're in trouble. And oh. he's just going to juke away. Yep. Blink away by Chalice. His TP is out of there. Birds are pretty quick. Are they quick enough? Not quite there. They managed to TP out. Really good play by Ami. Pressuring bottom, forcing reactions, which yep. lets him safely farm his relic top. He's just literally made VGJ chase him around the map for the last five, six minutes or so. And While never getting caught. Yeah. And he's been aggressive at a couple of occasions as well. And this is about to be he's that radiance, radiance done. <laughs> And all of the haunts have been, like, convenient kills. Even yeah. if they're not the most impactful kills, it doesn't matter for Spectre. All you care about is accelerating your own timings. Well, a very hard game right now for Vici J. LGD in yeah. a commanding lead, but hasn't been to the tune of taking a ton of objectives yet. There's only the one Tier 1 tower taken down bottom, but it does feel like that might start shifting very quickly now as they smoke up as four, have haunt yep. ready. Th this, is, this is the fight that you want as VGJ with a pipe. Oh, either before Radiance or with a pipe, but you actually can't take this fight. And if you can't take fights against a Spectre lineup, the Naga, like 17 DP, minutes in. How, how do you how do you plan on closing out the game? Like this, they're in a real poor position. You can see they they know their timings. You got a point booster on SVG. He's like 2,000 from Ags. Rezo's like maybe a little bit. Oh, haunt in. They get they're it chasing. right now. All the way onto him. The Radiance is just now complete. They turn on to one and the impale, not quite there, but it doesn't matter. They still got him netted, and that is a dead resolution. Therapist, therapist is going to kill, kill himself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Almost kills himself. They're actually not going to finish him off, though. That's like best case scenario for VGJ, yeah. I think. And when the best case scenario is losing your mid yeah. laner, that's, 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 that's not <laughs> a good time. <laughs> and Helm down creep. Ooh. Looking for the stun, not going to get it there. MSS, if he gets hit, he's uh, going to no back out. Dive. Just cast the spells, no big deal. They got Blink Enigma now. But they're just behind. They're behind a whole yeah. row of items, and the Spectre is accelerating. Oh, song. song to turn it, though, and now they've got eyes oh, he's on locked it, too. He's locked oh, in on the DP. They're going to be omitted. There's the combo immediately in. The Ice Path and Macro Pyre down. Didn't matter. It was a huge catastrophe, oh, and now they find oh. themselves another over by the Ancients. MSS wants to snowball. Can't snowball while you're rooted, though. Yeah, uh, this, game, this game has just been... It's all LGD. flawless from LGD. Like this, they made VGJ chase them around the map, respond all over the place, and I just felt Ame just ping ponging between bot, top and bot, whole game, yeah. top net worth. Just there, there's really no criticism that I have at the moment. He's been like a team. puppet master almost for what VGJ's movements have been on the Spectre, and like meanwhile, like the two teams we talked about, Rezo being the the primary farming hero on the side of VGJ while Ame is the opposite. In this game, they put Rezo against the Somnus in lane, and he is their active hero, and they've just been collapsing while so simultaneously stip, like uh, forcing their DP like upon them while shutting down Rezo at the same time. Like, they've been forcing the issue and shutting down.
the key farmer on the side of VGJ, yeah. and they're making something happen here. Dust up on the Nyx, he's gonna go down. And it's something we've said in the past, right, where you, you look at the VGJ heroes, Enigma, Visage, Gyro, who's the one that's gotta make plays? Who's the one that has to rotate? It's the Gyro. But yeah. as you said, Spectre's like level seven. He's level four. Yeah. yeah. And when he went, goes top to push, it's like 11, 12 minutes into the game. He's not ahead. He's not helping his team out. Like at any point, six, seven minutes into the game, he could have just connected mid if he has levels. Yeah. You grave chill the DP and you drop your ult on him. He's gonna die. But he's just playing against this super aggro dual lane of Jakiro Nix. It's just painful to lane against. Yeah. Super high HP heroes, <laughs> resilient with mangoes. They just spam their spells on you and they they just stick in the lane. And, and Coddle's not exactly the type of support that makes Gyro a stronger later. Yeah. Oh, another oh. haunt here. On the they bounty found rooms. one, and it is going to be Enigma. He gets a bounty rune for his trouble. There is a shrine here, not activatable though, and Snake King just going to die. So every time that haunt comes out, they're losing somebody. Meanwhile, they're going to try and push bottom. There's a chance that LGD could just think about going into Roche at any point. I don't, I don't know if you can really come and contest it. Uh, if they have Medallion, maybe, but I don't think it's... You can only lose the game at Roche if you're LGD. Okay. There's no reason to take a huge fight in a choke point. Game's still relatively even, but again, there's a specter. And this is, this is what I mean, Radiance Yasha, 20 minutes. Yeah. This is threatening. This is a hood blade mail. You, you're not on a clock. You don't feel bad. By the time he actually gets a Radiance, who cares? But when you get this free game and you're allowed to itemize just for acceleration only, y this hero is just solves all the issues. In the LGD he took draft. the dagger cooldown on Spectre. That's interesting, instead of the eight all hmm. stats. I guess being able to find people in the I, trees. It might just, be a, a might just be a farming yeah, thing. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. You, you farm significantly faster with Dagger Tool. Aghanim's picked up for the Gyrocopter, so he has a farm accelerating item. But as we've always said, it's going to be tough if this gets to a late game Spectre situation. 3,000 gold up. Pipe done for resolution. Do you need to make something happen right now with this, or do you have to keep waiting for like a BKB? Yeah, you, you got to, considering how they itemized a pipe on Rezo, Enigma rushing a blink. These items, like, they. You want to use your cooldowns ASAP. Make a move. Enigma hasn't black hole. I don't think a single time. No, nah, he hasn't. It's too difficult. But like it, they have too much control. Like un not even committal control either. Like the net and the Nixon pails and carapace. Yeah. I like what Snaking does. I don't see many players do this for some reason, but he soul rings early every time because you get the mana for ten seconds. There's no reason not to use it with you know seven eight seconds left on your spell and yeah. just soul ring preemptively so it comes up faster. Don't just soul ring and then cast spell. It's less efficient. I just accidentally hit Soul Ring and then move on. <laughs> I miss I miss click and then I'm like, wait, what ability can I use? Uh, so they have the Naga Ags is coming out actually, which is honestly a great way to counteract the region of the Coddle. And heroes like Spectre don't naturally have a way to reset the fight in terms of region, so that's going to be even harder for VGJ to storm to fight into. It does definitely feel like right now if you're VGJ, you've got to keep the pressure on because, like you said, Naga Ag's coming out. They just got the Blink Dagger on the Tusk, so he has some extra form of save. Uh, what that means as far as like how far they can actually push the, the tempo sort of up in the air, and right now, it feels as if LGD can kind of do whatever they want. Look at the wards that LGD has on the map. You notice anything? I like the lane Let's wards. Let's connect the dots, guys. Yeah. yeah. Where does this give them control? Pretty good area of the map there. And then the Spectre's just a perfect hero for this type of game where he's just going to sit back on his side of the map while the rest of his team can still look to do things. Yep. Being able to show up at a fight from anywhere is pretty strong. Yep. Manta finished. Critical item. Oh, and the hard afterwards. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. The Manta about to be delivered, and they're smoked up to try and take a fight with this. They think that Roche is going on, but it's not. So maybe if they can get away, MSS just going to TP ah. out. It's still so much damage. And with that extra Desolate, it just blows them up. Yeah, Spectre Illusions getting Desolate, that pure damage. I mean, it's just 100 pure damage per volley of Illusions. Usually Illusions don't do all that much damage, but not on Spectre. Still, though, for Haunt, just losing the Tusk there, that's not terrible. That ain't good either, though. <laughs> Fair enough. This isn't a game where I think okay is okay is like acceptable for VGJ. The, the th okay, here's the thing though: you can you can theoretically still kill them and win a fight. It's like it's all the net worth is on Spectre. Yeah. So if you can kill the Spectre, 
in the duration of your BKBs, the Dispersion obviously not dealing damage through spell immunity. That That's how you can deal with him. They don't have BKBs yet, though. Exactly. They do have that's Song available. FY just up on the high ground here, pretending to be an illusion. They don't think it's real. And he does have what the ability to Song oh FY my. out of control and with the X Nova Lining moving up the in. Ice path. They're going to get the Aegis. Now the turnaround. The They've got it onto both of them as well. Enigma going to get completely controlled. Silence throughout this. Somnus just running a train. Go down on Death Prophet. Is he going to die yeah, to yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of damage coming out there. They need to turn it back around with Chalice in the area. And Impale comes oh. out. The black hole on it too. Able to interrupt this one. They take down yet another. Okay. Yep. No hunt. Even though they have Aegis, look how low Ame was. He had no mana to fight that out. Great job by VGJ. Even though the Roche goes down, you got to contest. An amazing setup by FY. They Nick stunned two targets, though he missed the, the ice Visage. Path the other and two. Ice Path the other two. If he hits the Visage, though, I think they win that fight more convincingly because he was able to Grave Chill and then reposition. They can just go here. There's yeah, no, no deal, no song, it's no go hot. time. Do they have Axe? They have a lot of stuff. They almost, have Axe on the, the Gyro, too, so extra damage coming in from him. And they have two Helm Doms and a pipe. I mean, obviously the Helm Doms don't stack, but they can take that Catapult. And this is a tier three at least. Lots of damage. The Spectre tries to go on SVG in the back lines of it, and Ice Path coming out as well from X Nova. They try and focus him down now. The Walrus Punch is going to be able to connect, and X Nova is dead. Can they take down any more here? Chalice by Carapace is already out. Yuar is very low. low, and he is going to get snowballed away towards the Spectre Illusion, but Yuar still very low and Aww. is going to die. Yeah, it's stick, but he was probably dead anyway. So hey. with that, LGD is going to get the tier three. When, when Ame has mana and daggers, the game gets hard. Oh, and he spiked Carapaces the coddle so Ame can get the kill. Yeah. Yep. And he's got a full I If they have coddle lags, they're taking that fight. Unfortunately, he was 300 gold away, and that's just because VGJ's early game just didn't go quite as well as they wanted, and I put that all on the Knicks pick. Like, that, that yeah. hero is near impossible for Coddle to play against in the lane. That also slowed down the gyrocopter. Chalice also somehow ended up with like, what, an 11 minute blink dagger? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, Immediately you, made use of it too. Yeah. So 4,000 net worth lead, but starting to get bigger and bigger issue is Ame, who is closing in on that heart now. Yeah. Other than keep in mind, I feel the, um, the glyph, I think, was also critical in that last engagement where it, it just, it, it slows pushes down so hard. They wait for the Visage Grave Chill, and then all of a sudden it's six seconds of invulnerability. Like that's yep. that's a lot of time purchased, Four especially bounty runes. When you consider how low the buybacks are for these level 12 to 16 heroes, the big changeover like they're under 50 seconds. Yeah. That fight was at Roche, so you're gonna have a Jakiro alive. Yeah, he died, but that buys time for the Naga, the Nyx. Like everyone's up already by the time that you're actually. Li uh, waiting out through that glyph in the travel time just to get from Roche to the tier 3. They are smoked. Aegis Spectre has a Reaver. Double damage that's got about 20 seconds and left haunt. on it. Yeah. Haunt is level 3 as well, so it's only the 2 minute cooldown. He also has the... Oh, he took the Dagger Slow instead of the 500 health. Okay. You are, though, running into trouble here. And he spots everybody. They're not quite going to get with the Ice Path, but the Impale is there for the follow-up, and he's just gone. Wow. Blinding Light couldn't get there in time. They silence MSS, going to lift him with the Yules, and they're ready to run inside of their base. Maybe does not care at all as they kill off that Tusk. Is this the new Spectre build? Who needs stats? You just slow people I'm, every I second. think it's just he's just so far ahead. You don't yeah. need to itemize that way when you're... I mean, as you say, you know, the best defense is a good offense, right? How, do you, how are you a target if you're running around with Aegis Heart? Yeah. And... Like, what you're more concerned about what happened at the Roche pit, where your zone from the fight, due to maybe like lack of mana, or you know, you were killing Roche, you have no ultimate, and all of a sudden you're not a t like, you can be ignored. But yeah. with these, this talent itemization and his Manta Radiance Rush, like, you can't ignore Ame in a fight. Absolutely. I love the fact that he's going Nullifier now, too. That, that just means that, honestly, any core that, or any hero that's isolated on VGJ, other than maybe Tusk, is just going to die the second he. Haunts on top of them. And this day, he's been like spamming dagger off cooldown, using shrines whenever they're off cooldown. I'm, I, I think this may be the play. And it's why I'm assuming he went for the treads build as well with the Aquila. You, you just get that mana regen, you can swap it out there and make so much more this use of it. It's a new way to play Spectre as a hard farmer in terms of uh, just maxing dagger talents and running around the map. I mean, you don't get them till it looks pretty. I'm just saying, it looks pretty fast, like yeah. compared yeah. to a lot of these carries. But do keep in mind. 6k net worth advantage for LGD. All, All of that is Spectre. And BKBs remove his damage. Yeah. You can then stand at a little ball, ignore the AoE of LGD, and like 
that's it. You don't take the desolate damage. You, you just kind of hang out. The only thing I'd be concerned about is that Song into Nick stun is un bkb if the timing is right. You spawn inside the stun. It's a frame. It, 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 the BKB and the stun are the same frame, but something about the way Dota registers ticks or whatever means that certain abilities will go off and stun you before BKB, and Nick stun is one of them. Mechanics with Kyle. It's happening. That's why. Okay. Jumps in the song oh there. God, they got the him all caught. No. Chalice is going to be there. He's able to kill off the courier at the start of as well. Ice path on two. Only two of them. They get the yep. BKBs out on both of them there. Could be a little bit of an opening here for them as Chalice is going to be isolated. They black hole nothing. They don't get anybody there. Oh, no. The turn back in. Ame is on top of all of them. Dispersion's going to be doing a ton. A triple kill already for Somnus. And Yawar also likely to fall. Godlike Ame. And uh, just for the record. Ice Path is bkb able if that fight did not demonstrate it. Um, For the viewers out there, Kyle did not know that. Yes, he, saw yes, that. he did. That's why I don't uh, like Yul's on Jakiro that much because they can always be able. Yeah. I like you a lot more as follow-up versus trying to create your own. <laughs> and uh, I like X Nova's item build. You max. You just get that Ghost Scepter. You don't fear Visage anymore when you get Grave Chilled. And yeah, just don't I, die. I think that's just game, yeah. straight up. And I mean, you know, you can look at that black hole and say, oh, God, you know, black hole, missed lol, or whatever you want to say in Twitch chat or whatever. But to me, at least, if the strategy is dependent upon him hitting a huge black hole for you to be able to win a fight, that's a problem. Yeah. Well, the problem with a hero like Spectre against Enigma is Spectre creates a ton of chaos. Right. There's so much going on. Enigma, it's hard enough as it is to time and land that BKB or that black hole. He also has to do it in his BKB. Otherwise, he's going to get disabled. And he'd already popped it because of the, the song initiation. And... I mean, he even got the Knicks, but uh, that's one thing I love about the Spectre pick against this Enigma is that it makes it very difficult to just reliably say, I'm in a black hole now. Not a hero that presents itself in a traditional way that is a carrier that just like walks into the fight. So we're talking about all these talents. We're talking about the Spectre hero that's starting to look pretty freaking good this game. Is it just because it's the other heroes that v, uh, VGJ Storm took, or is it good independent of that, do you guys think? Are you seeing more Spectre going forward? I think it was just a really good Spectre game. Okay. They they had to answer the the Coddle and the Enigma, and Spectre does that. I, I think that the way LGD plays is predicated upon these three tanky cores that they can play around. Um, Ame having a natural a hero that's naturally high survivability and um, elusive with the ability to scale is like th th that's what he seems to thrive with. You know the PLs, Spectre, Slark. I point to the maybe Death Prophet. You can, he puts way too much pressure out with that hero. I don't know if any other hero from that mid lane can do what he continues to do as Death Prophet. I was going to say that I think the, the Death Prophet's the problem. Yul's BKB at what, like 14, 15 minutes it right. feels like every game? Like, what do you what do? You do? How do you stop him? Like, no you, hero in the game does enough damage to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not saying the Spectre pick wasn't really good. I'm just saying that if I'm to take away a lesson from this game on VGJ Storm, please just ban the Death Prophet. Yeah. Because I think that even, I mean, let, let, if you remove the Enigma, right, just, you know, give it some standard offlaner. Yeah. That's what makes the Spectre very strong. But may, uh, LGD can do this with Ame playing one of, like, four different heroes. If he's the Slark that's banned, the Morphling, the PL, the game is going to have the same result. And they're just messing with you are right now. They do drop down the Midnight Pulse as well, but Somnus running forward. He does not care at all, and Spectre haunts into all the mess as well. The Snowball save, not terrible, but they're going deeper in towards their own base and being chased down by all these heroes. BKB, oh. <gasps> no! What a bait. You see Ame Manta oh. there? Baits in Snake King and then just runs out of the base. Oh, no. Oh, the black wow. hole was casted and canceled, and now they're all going to die. A double kill for Ame. Another snowball, but to no avail. Inside the base, GG is called as LGD win game number one. That was... That was a stomp. That was... That's the LGD that I think we expected to see in the group stage, and uh, they are on point. And uh, I think it was uh, right after DAC, you know, we were talking about how this is a Chinese year for TI. Hey. I think you have a front runner if you're going to look at just that region. I just feel like maybe is, like, I feel like a lot of teams have been targeting Ame, but yeah, Ame's being, an, like, not to take anything away from Ame, but he's being enabled by maybe. And uh, it's just, 
too, uh, the pressure in that mid lane, man, it's just yeah. too much. Yeah, I mean, I, you could look at the stats, 12-0 and 12 on Ame with 700 GPM across the board on Spectre mm -hmm. this year. It's out of the meta. But like you said, it's all because of him. It's because of, I think, the FY plays that you also get yeah, early absolutely. on. D DP Naga, like you can, LGD can draft 40, 50 different heroes yeah. after that opener. And I think that you need to limit them in some way. You've got to address the profit. I, I just, I, you can't give that hero away. I was surprised they gave it to him for one game personally, but yeah. I thought that VGJ's draft was really nice, like conceptually, but when the gyro gets off to the start, he does, and then suddenly this Visage hero that could also be the one creating pressure on the map, pressuring the tier ones maybe with an early helm of the Dominator, he's getting dove in the mid lane, yeah. and gyro can't even respond because he's just level five. And by that point that he is able to respond, he TPs in and they get like a triple kill, I think, right? Yeah. And... I mean, all in the meanwhile, Ame is just farming, casually using Haunt to get pickoffs on no matter who it is. It's just an extra two, three hundred gold towards his radiance, and the game looks pretty easy when it goes like that. Yep. Just never looked back, and I am really impressed. I think if you're VGJ Storm, like you guys said, switching up, take that DP out, and then uh, also maybe trying to get a more resolution type of hero. I don't know if you guys feel the same uh, way. I, I, I like the concept that they went with. It just... It doesn't feel like the visage does enough. It, it it's not the same. Like we said, they run this gyro on Yawar, right? right? But what is Rezo playing? It's this Medusa. It's a it's a it's a, another hard carry almost, right. but but that comes online quickly, right? Luna Medusa, you buy them a little bit of space, and they're just eating through the map. Mm -hmm. They get a BKB or not BKB on Medusa, but you get what I mean. Like they they get a timing, right. and all of a sudden they're the strongest hero. Yeah. What's Gyro like? Gyro isn't being. He's not making space for anyone. He's he's still Yawar. They want to make enable resolution. Where in that game, Yawar is getting shut down, and then all of a sudden, what can he do? What can Rezo do as a visage in a lane he's outmatched in? And it just felt like again, I don't want to look too much into the strategy because I think LGD just outplayed them pretty right. pretty hard in that game. But I I think you switch it up. I would uh, again. I'd say if you go for you know a jug, a life stealer guarantee that you can win this bottom lane even with a coddle like maybe the game is different at least gives you an answer to the specter who if you don't black hole him how do you how are you killing him in this game if you don't run over the map totally all right well ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it for game number one again a best of five vici j storm facing off against lgd winner wins the major stay tuned more to come right after this